Welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad and today, as you can see, I've decided to take a break from all the ultra high exclusive properties in Sandton, sit down here in nature and enjoy the sights, the sounds, the smells. You can hear this water trickling there. It is peaceful, it is so relaxing. And I mean, can you imagine having something like this in your backyard? Could you imagine being able to walk across your stream and have a dam here that you can wake up every morning and look out onto. And really, if you decide to purchase this home in Blair Athol, that's exactly what you could have every single day. So come with me and let me show you around this ultra beautiful, comfortable, over the top, 17 million rand house in Blair Athol. You're not gonna regret it. Let's go. Welcome to Blair Athol. Coming through these doors, you find yourself immediately in the entry hall. The two things that catch your eye almost immediately are this locally sourced featured quarry stone that you'll see has touches all around the house. It's so beautiful the way these walls and pillars are done. And the next thing are these imported Italian tiles. To my left, you've got a wraparound staircase taking you to the top floor. But this is a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom house. And the half bathroom is just behind me. It's a guest bathroom there. And we're gonna show you it in a moment. But let me talk about Blair Athol. What is it? This is an estate located just off Lanseria. So very, very close to the airport. But it is so much more than that. This has a Gary Player golf course internationally recognized. If you're an equestrian, it has got everything you need to keep your horses here and keep them happy, healthy, and within easy access to you. You've, you've got a mountain bike trail, and then you've also got plenty of dams and water features all around the house and all around the estate. So if you're into fishing, this is exactly where you can do this. This is a lifestyle estate in terms of everything available to you. And living here is the epitome of tranquility, of peace of just quiet and relaxation and you'll never ever regret that. The other really nice thing about it is its location. It's very close to the airport, but it is also still very close to Four Ways Mall. So if you do need to go shopping, if you need to get anything, you're only, only a stone's throw away. It's ticking all the boxes that have become so important to us. So let me show you around this house. Let me show you what makes it so incredible and so comfortable and such a perfect family home. We're gonna start right here on the ground floor and we're gonna start with these two areas to the left and the right just behind the camera that is the formal sitting area and the formal dining room so come with me and let's take a look so coming through that beautiful entry hall you find yourself on your right in the formal dining room area you can see so much space here incredible wrought iron chandelier just above you with a lot of down lighting so this is nicely lit and very spacious you can easily fit eight people here at this dining room table and it leads as you notice right outside onto your patio stackable country style farmhouse doors there glass panes make this very indoor outdoor with access to your outdoor area which i'm going to show you in a bit because it is incredible you've already seen the dam but here you go walking around this you find yourself coming up these stairs and going into your kitchen. So if you are a chef, if you love entertaining, going from your kitchen into your dining room area, no problem. So let me link some of this up for you. If you go this way, you're going down to your wine cellar in another really cool area, or you're gonna be heading to your lounge, your informal lounge. But let's go this way to your formal lounge. And this sitting area yeah, your formal sitting room area is where you're gonna be entertaining your guests with wine, with cigars, maybe with some whiskey. You'll see there in the corner, you've got a gas fireplace. Fireplaces are a major theme of this house. I think keeping warm in winter is never gonna be a problem. You've got another wrought iron chandelier that matches the one in the formal dining room area. And this is a mirror of each other and it plays so nicely from a design point of view. Again, stackable farmhouse doors with glass leading out onto your patio, overlooking the beautiful ground as well as the dam over there. Now, just to my left over here, so if we carry on a little bit forward, you'll find yourself in your first guest bedroom. So now let's go take a look at that study before we show you the guest bedroom. So coming around the corner, you'll find yourself 
in the study. And something I need to mention here, and I need to mention it as soon as I was going to talk about the sliding glass door here, is the quality of the finishes. The doors feel weighty, the wood is quality, all the windows, the inlays, it is incredible. It is one of the nicest houses in terms of touch, in terms of feel, which is so important when buying a house. It is definitely top notch. But this right here is your study. You've got some inbuilt bookshelves. You've got a window overlooking those incredible grounds that I've said. And right here, you've got the desk where all the magic happens. This right here is where you're gonna look at them and tell them, show me the money. But that's enough about business. Let's go show you their guest bedroom because this guest bedroom's got something really special. So coming from the study, you pass your own exit there to the grounds if you do want to use it because this is a private guest suite. And I say private and many of you may be wondering, what do I mean about private? That is, if you've got guests here, they don't need to come through your front door as this door leads right out to the same entrance as the front door. So they can come and go as they please. They don't need to feel like they're disturbing anybody, which I love. Plenty of space here in cupboards, as well as a storage area in the corner, windows looking out onto those wonderful grounds. You cannot go wrong in Blair Athol, but they've got their very own bathroom as well, so let's talk about that. The guest bathroom has its very own floating bathtub with a beautiful faucet, a walk-in shower, all glass surrounds, and then two windows letting in plenty of light and plenty of air. So now that we've come outside of the guest bedroom, we've come across past the formal seating area, you'll find yourself right next to this built-in pad and the whole house is controlled by this. If you need to sort out your lights, this is where you're gonna go. You've got other inbuilt pads for lighting around the house and in there, there are switches that you can click on and choose what lights you'd like to put on and what lights are on. So turning all the lights in this house on and turning them off, very, very simple, done all through that control center. But let's move right into this kitchen here. What a kitchen this is. Your eye is immediately drawn to this center island here with polished wood. You've got an inlay of a chef sink and then on the right hand side some exposed brick. Again bringing that country feel and tying it in with all the other exposed rock elements here. Now this kitchen's got a lot to talk about so let me run through some of the appliances. We've got a Smeg gas stove with built-in oven but that's not the only oven. We've got another oven built into the cupboards. The cupboards are beautiful earthy color with really different handles and it's not, it's not often you see handles like this within a kitchen. Then above the Smeg burner you've also got your extractor fan which is clad in the same wood as the rest of the cupboards so as not to take your eye away from just how nicely styled this kitchen is. On my right hand side where I'm standing now Look at all the space you've got for fridges. It's not something you're gonna to need to worry about. This center island also has under counter storage there in case you are an incredible chef and you need all the space in the world. This is the house for you. But come on in here, let me show you something different. Come on, take a look at this. Take a look at this. We've got a dining room area, but this right here is a six seater breakfast nook right here next to these floor to ceiling glass windows. You've got some plantation style shutters here. If you do want to shut it off, it's all there. But how nice must it be to stand here, sit down, have a breakfast, sounds of the birds chirping, sounds of the dam, just enjoy yourself. And that is what this house is all about. The kitchen also leads off to your garage as well as a scullery and a chef's kitchen. Now that chef's kitchen is where you're going to be storing your dishwasher, your washing machine, your tumble dryer because it has all of that under counter storage. It also has a lot more built in storage as well as an extra large sink but we're not forgetting the view, we're not forgetting the outside areas because it's got a farmhouse door that splits open. You can take a look at your herb garden as well as a massive window just above the sink. So coming out of your kitchen, we are now walking into the actual lounge, but just down there is a wine cellar as well as a bar area that I'm about to show you. But let's finish this lounge first, because this lounge, like everything else in this house, is incredible. We've got a massive wood fireplace right over there. I love the stone cladding. Like I'd mentioned, so many stone elements in this house, as well as wrought iron elements. But right here, indoor outdoor living again, you've got access to your patio, as well as this balcony right over here if you want to sit and just get some rays in, a little bit of a breeze, you'll open up these stackable aluminum doors. And again, you've got the plantation style shutters right there. But this house is done so well. So much thought was placed in what's comfortable, in what needs to go where, so that when you do live here, 
it still feels like a home even though it is a house of this size. Fan above me, down lighting, TV right over there. Who can't think about sitting here, relaxing and enjoying yourself? But I think now it's time for a drink. And here you are within the bar area slash wine cellar just behind me. You've got a table there to enjoy if you want to have a meal down here. You've got a massive bar just behind my cameraman there. I think he's salivating to get his hands on a good drink. But this here is full of exposed brick, of cast concrete ceilings. It really is a really cool place to be. There's a fireplace down here as well, also wood. So if you have to fill that up, with the way the chimney is structured, this room is gonna get very warm very quickly. So it must be so nice to sit here and enjoy a drink, specifically during winter. But this house, or this area, should I say rather, this area, let me walk this. This area leads outside. So follow me as we go. You come out of your bar area into an outside, I'm gonna say LARPA, but it's not really a LARPA. It's an outside area that's got some inbuilt seating there. A huge braai. I don't actually think, think I've seen a braai this big before. Right here, so if you do want to have brides, it leads right up to the pool area. You've got a sink in the corner there, so if you are looking to food prep, you can do it all here. Again, this is an entertainer's dream, but one that still feels very much like a family home that you can live and have your children grow up in. And here you are, back on your patio, and this does conclude the bottom of this house, the first floor, but there's so much more. There's really so much more to talk about in this house. And before we do that, let's talk about this right here. Again, we've got the exposed quarry rock pillars. Yeah, we've got the outdoor dining area as well as the outdoor living room area. Some other really cool features about the patio area are the two inbuilt fans. You've got wrought iron chandeliers that match your wrought iron railings, as well as electricity pumped out into the living room area that is outdoor. So there's space for a bar fridge. Some other really cool features you'll find on the outside area is your beautiful blue pool, the pavilion just off to the right of the pool, and a kid's playground area with trampoline. Then if you push down the lawn, you'll find yourself a view of another massive dam, apparently. If you're into fishing, that's a dam you need to use. And again, where I came from, your very own private dam where you can sit down, relax, and enjoy the sounds of birds and trickling water. And behind me, as you can see, look at that beautiful blue pool with a pavilion off to its right. Guys, this is an area that you wanna be in in all your free time. And let's go inside, let's go upstairs, and let's show you what else this house has to offer. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on the first floor. But I wanna talk about a couple of features just before we go any further in this house. The first is how beautiful are these wrought iron balustrades. I love the way they've been done. And also another thing is take a look at that chandelier and the lighting coming up the staircase. Again, like I said, so much attention to detail has been paid in this house that it makes it feel so warm and so homely. Lighting all the way down the passageway. Again, we've got this beautiful exposed quarry rock tying in all of those design elements. Another one of those pillars right here. On my right hand side, another study nook for the bedrooms to use. We've got a storage room there, and here we come through into a grouping of three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Let's show you this one first. Let's go. And here we are within the first bedroom that's perfectly sized for you to make use of it however you wish. On my left hand side you've got huge windows looking out onto a different part of the grounds and just outside that door plantation shutters stop you from walking out onto your very own private balcony. Now this bedroom also has a partial walk-in closet with your very own in-suite bathroom that is a walk-in shower vanity with under counter storage as well as a toilet. And now I did mention within this area there are three different bedrooms. So there's one on the left and then there's a bathroom on the right and a bedroom right in front of me. So these two bedrooms share this bathroom right here. So let's go explore this one first. Then we're going to take a look at that one and then we're going to talk about this bathroom. Let's go. 
And here we are in another perfectly sized bedroom. You'll see just above me, we've got a fan and the vents behind me show that this bedroom has access to a central aircon system, as do all the bedrooms in this house. Plenty of cupboard space on my right hand side. And this bedroom, as well as the other one that we're gonna show you next, have access to this long balcony, taking you from these two bedrooms all the way to the master suite across the pajama lounge. Let's go take a look at that other room now. Come on. And here we are within the final bedroom on this side of the house. You'll see all the bedrooms are carpeted, keeping that cozy feel, also keeping your feet warm during the winter months, which we are about to go into. So I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate that. Windows here overlooking the ground. Again, cupboard space. These rooms are all done with so much thought in mind so that you can use them for whatever fits you best. But we're gonna run along this patio area there and we're gonna take a look at the master suite. But just before we run and take a look at that master suite, let me talk about this bathroom that is shared by those two bedrooms. Because it is shared, you'll see there are double basins here with plenty of space underneath that vanity for storage. You've got your very own jacuzzi bathtub, walk-in shower, as well as a very cool and quite nifty private balcony around the corner. If you want to dry naturally, that's exactly where you're gonna be doing it. Coming onto this patio, it pushes all the way across to the master suite, the creme de la creme, as I like to call it. You guys know, wrought iron finishes all the way up here. Lots of space for you to sit out and enjoy yourself. Look at these lounges, looking out at that view. There's nothing better than that, except maybe this master suite. So we're gonna turn you around and we're gonna show you what it's all about. And here it is, the creme de la creme, the master suite. On my left, again, more of that exposed brick. You've got a gas fireplace, massive space here for this incredible bed. And on the right-hand side of this chimney, you'll find yourself in what I'd probably call a sunning area. This is where you could get ready. This is where you could do your makeup. This is where you could just sit back, enjoy the fire, and read a book and love life right here in Blair Athol. But this main master, incredible, extraordinary suite has got so much more. Because just over here, you'll find, I'd like to say a walk-in closet, but this is almost a walk-through closet. Right over here, you'll find yourself Maybe not even a walk-in closet, it's a walk-through closet. You've got your private balcony there, mirrored on the other side of this hallway, and right here, you'll find yourself in your closet. So much cupboard space here. A lot of natural light coming through that window, and behind me, if you listen closely, let me see if my mic picks it up, you'll hear running water, and none of the taps are leaking, I can promise you that. So take a look at what a master bathroom suite should look like. Double sinks behind me, incredibly large vanity, mirrors, a plenty. We've got this bathtub here that is made for relaxation. Take a look at the faucets, real quality faucets. Walk-in shower here with a window showing you your very own private outdoor shower. And that outdoor shower is second to none. I've never seen an outdoor shower like this. So much light, so much air. It's so comfortable. Greenery all around you. Guys, in the comment section, all of you, I want you to get down there and tell me what you think about this master bathroom suite. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least of your first four areas is this pajama lounge. Beautiful chandelier above you that is mimicked just behind us above the entry hall. But that does conclude everything we can show you. So what I'd like you to do is hop onto your rowing machines and row, row, row your boat all the way over to the phone. Contact Alex at Engel and Forkers Broadacres. She will help you schedule a viewing. She will help you move in to one of the nicest, one of the most beautiful, one of the most comfortable country homes we've ever featured on the Private Property Home Shoppers Show. You do not want to miss out on this. So from myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property and everyone else, we wish you a lot of love, a lot of luck, and a lot of light, especially during this winter season. Thank you and goodbye.